welcome to day three of Central Mississippi bow season. We're still hunting the same piece of property, hunted it the first three days. I killed a big one last night. You haven't watched that episode yet, you go back and watch it, it was nice. I know what's going to happen today, I'm hunting real close to the road. Make some move this day, and if nothing happens today, because I am. The underbrush is gone, the trees have gotten thicker. I used to run parallel to the road right here, and I've had lots of that to be up in the hunt in the past few years. I think it's too thin this year. We'll see. Hopefully, I'll get some footage of something. We'll be able to bring it to you. We'll see if the, the smaller 8 point comes out today. I didn't see him. Actually, usually, he's running with the big boy, but it seems. I wonder if we can clear the other side because I figured we bookered that place up last night. So, on the other side. Girls are out of town, so I said, I'm on Facebook for that now. I'm still going to my arms. Let's see. I'm going to let them notice my truck parked over there. Like it's, too big. it's so thin that I can see my truck. I'm going to have to move a stand. They're veterinary truck to there, so I don't want to get too close. So, I put this stand here two years ago, and it has just been a main thoroughfare thorough right through here. There's one oak tree real thick right through here and this is like the safe distance from the road I think they just come down it I don't know this was my first stand ever hung by myself I got lucky not only if we also did it right at the end of the year I didn't hunt this property and I didn't want to mess nothing up so I just came this a safe distance from the road and hung a stand and it has been perfect I haven't checked the camera yet we'll check it before we get out of here we'll see
shoulder. I think I heard him go down. Myself tonight, I'll get this turned around, get a flash turned on. But I'm about to start going there looking for my arrow. Um, 
running out of daylight, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna take my bow with me tonight because I don't like not having it last night. And um, we'll see how much blood we find. I may back out, but we're just gonna go in there with this. I'm gonna flip this around, turn the flash on. I got my flashlight. That way, if we do see one, I'm gonna knock another air real fast in case he's still kicking. Just in case he's still alive, because I, I really think I heard him crash hard. Just barely out of sight here, about 20 yards or so. so I'm going to walk up here and just see if we see him. I'm not going to push too hard, but it's only been about 10 minutes, probably. I at least walk up here and see exactly where I shot him before it gets dark. It's really been too fast. I'm just going to cock camera down here. I'm going to pull it. I think there's my hair right there. see it on the camera. I'm not bringing a big one down here because it's too heavy by myself. So I'm keeping my bow handy. So maybe I did get, I know I didn't get a pass through, I just came off that thing was running. There's my arrow right there. So my arrow did move up. I guess it probably did coming out and just like it did, it just folded up coming out. Are here for right this minute. I know this looks like a horror story here. Oh, it's bright. I literally am on my hands and knees crawling through this thicket. I mean, it is thick. I just smelt something. And we got blood right here. My first sign. I've been circling for about 30 minutes. I don't know if you can see that or not. Not good video, I know, but we're on him. We're trying to smell it. I guess I smelt it before I saw it. A lot of blood. It's rained last night, so everything's wet. This is definitely blood. Stay tuned. Well, as you can tell, I have backed out. I'm heading home. I think I'm just wore out from last night, but as soon as I cut the video off from talking where I found that blood, it wasn't the blood I was smelling, it was him. I was sitting there with my light on looking, trying to figure out because we're a little bit forking the trail. Of course, I'm on my hands and knees, can't see nothing. It literally, I mean, that's the thickest place I've ever been in my life. I, I have never hunted that because I just can't get to it. There's no trees for a stand, it's just thickness. So I own, um, sorry for the poor video quality here. I'm just, video camera's too big, the light's too bright to do it while I'm driving. But, um, yeah, well, as soon as I got through with that video, all of a sudden, I was kind of looking, scanning the light, scanning the light, looked ahead, looked ahead, looked ahead with my flashlight, and all of a sudden, I heard him stand up, probably, and it felt like, it sounded like he was like 10 yards away. He may be a little bit further than that, and of course, I can't see more than three. But all of a sudden, he um, stood up, and um, I heard him move around a little bit, and I thought he laid back down. So I was gonna push up a little bit, and um, just see, because I knew which way he was going, I was gonna go down that trail, and see if I could see him, to try to get a finishing off shot on him. It wasn't, but two or three steps, I heard him move, run along some more. Look, he circled back to where I um, had originally shot him at, was what it sounded like. So I kind of circled back with him, kind of following there. But I walked on back toward where my arrow was because I didn't want to bust him anymore. And I never did find any more blood or anything. So but it's supposed to get cool tonight. It's already, we're already in the 60s, and I think it's supposed to get down in the low 40s. So I'm gonna let it let it sit there and he's still alive obviously. So I'm not gonna push him no more. So I'm back in the morning, so I marked the spot where the blood was. After I he, I bumped him, I felt like he circled back. Uh, um, kind of followed that circle back trail, but never found any blood or anything. I don't think I was on the right trail. And I um, went went forward back to where my arrow was, got it, got out of there. So we'll see what the tomorrow holds. He definitely Hit good. I just didn't get any air penetration on him. I hit too far. He, you know, they took out shoulder back and it went in that shoulder. But I got a good eight, ten inches of um, more than that. I can't, can't make my finger go that wide. Penetration in there. It's red blood on it, but no pass throughs, so, which is what I'm shooting for. But we'll find out tomorrow. Stay tuned again. You're not gonna remember to believe this. I'm all shook up. <laughs> Brought the dog out here the next morning. 
I brought him here myself. Couldn't find nothing. I really, I mean, to me, if you kill something, you got to give it your your due diligence to find it or take a shot at something. Uh, um, oh, this this is the this is the um, not thick part. I mean, we're in the clear. It, we have been through so much trash. Went back, and got my buddy's dog, helped me find my other deer the other night. Came and I just have we just turned the leash loose on him because it was too thick to guide him. And so I was trying to stay close, but he was just, he book it, he'd lose the trail, get in a pond and play, get out, find a trail, take off. All of a sudden, he got probably 30 yards ahead of us, and he started wailing away, barking. So he thought a snake or something, so we take off running, and um, get there, and the deer is standing up, wounded pretty bad, tied up in some thorns, thick as horns are, and the dog is just barking, 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 barking. So I can't finish him off, the deer off, until the dog lets him go. We get the dog back. I uh, take a shot and miss. Deer, but, but at, right before I took the let go, the deer got loose and took off running. I still took the shot, but I took off running. The dog took off running, thought the deer was gone. Deer went about 10 more yards and fell down. So the deer was laying there and of course I felt bad for him. So I went ahead and took a shot, a good clean shot and finished him off. So that's the sad part that he sat out here all night. <laughs> Very sad part. It's the longest I've ever had to take a, get a deer. The good part is, he did sit out here forever. We did, we did find him. We located him. The meat's still good, and he's gonna make a great trophy. We'll, go, we'll have to walk over there to him and say, "God, I am pumped up. I am my heart beating faster now than it was when I killed him. That was, I mean, to be, I mean, we really were on top of the deer before, he, before I realized that that was him. I thought I didn't know, I didn't know what was going on. Oh my God, I am." Hair's a mess. I left my hat back here at the last blood we found, so we wouldn't be able to find it at the top of the tree. Well, um, there, there he is right there. I'll walk up there in a second. I'm gonna make sure. I know, I know he's finished off, but just to make sure, I'm letting him. This has been the probably my most memorable bow kill ever. Shot him last night. Good entry wound right where I want him. I'm not sure what I just hit that bone, just did not penetrate. Got the dog out today. Thought the way it was hot, I didn't think the meat was gonna be any good. Dog starts tracking. We know to trust the dog. He had his this is his third track and he's been on the money every time. And he was tracking, tracking, all of a sudden he started barking. We're right here by the pond. I, I thought a snake had bit him or something. I ain't my dog as I was I was fearing the worst. And all of a sudden we get there and he's still alive, trapped in the briar patch. And so go to finish him off and he gets loose and runs away for a little while and then he stops and we're able to finish him off so feel bad that he had to suffer all night long that's the first time i've ever had that happen before but i'm thankful that he didn't go to waste and i'm thankful we found him but man um now if i just know how to point my camera around the pine tree would be be a perfect hunt so thanks for watching we're going to drag this joker all the way back to the truck